Aluminium alloy 7075 is an aluminium alloy, with zinc as the primary alloying element. It is strong, with a strength comparable to many steels, and has good fatigue strength and average machine ability, but has less resistance to corrosion than many other L alloys. Its relatively high cost limits its use to applications where cheaper alloys are not suitable. 7075 aluminum alloys composition roughly includes 5.6 a euro 6.1% zinc, 2.1 a euro 2.5% magnesium, 1.2 a euro 1.6% copper, and less than half a percent of silicon, iron, manganese, titanium, chromium, and other metals. It is produced in many tempers, some of which are 7075-0, 7075 T6, 7075 T651. Basic properties Aluminium 7075A has a density of 2.810 gma cubed. Mechanical properties The mechanical properties of 7075 depend greatly on the temper of the material. Equals 7075 0 equals Unheat treated 7075 has maximum tensile strength no more than 40,000 psi and maximum yield strength no more than 21,000 psi. The material has an elongation of 9 a euro 10%. It is very highly corrosive and has good strength. Equals 7075 T6 equals, T6 tempera 7075 has an ultimate tensile strength of 74,000 a euro 78,000 psi and yield strength of at least 63,000 a euro 69,000 psi. It has a failure elongation of 5 a euro 11%. The T6 temper is usually achieved by homogenizing the cast 7075 at 450 degree Celsius for several hours, quenching, and then aging at 120 degree Celsius for 24 hours. This yields the peak strength of the 7075 alloy. The strength is derived mainly from finely dispersed eta and eta precipitates both within grains and along grain boundaries. Equals 7075 T651 equals T651 tempera 7075 has an ultimate tensile strength of at least 67,000 a euro 78,000 psi and yield strength of 54,000 a euro 67,000 psi. It has a failure elongation of 3 a euro 9%. The 51 suffix has no bearing on the heat treatment but denotes that the material is stress relieved by controlled stretching. Equals 7075 T7 equals, T7 temper has an ultimate tensile strength of 73,200 psi and a yield strength of 63,100 psi. It has a failure elongation of 13%. T7 temper is achieved by overaging the material. This is often accomplished by aging at 100 a euro 120 a degree Celsius for several hours and then at 160 a euro 180 a degree Celsius for 24 hours or more. The T7 temper produces a microstructure of mostly eta precipitates. In contrast to the T6 temper, these eta particles are much larger and prefer growth along the grain boundaries. This reduces the susceptibility to stress corrosion cracking. T7 temper is equivalent to T73 temper. Equals 7075 RRA equals, the retrogression and reach temper is a multistage heat treatment temper. Starting with a sheet in the T6 temper, it involves overaging past peak hardness to near the T7 temper. A subsequent reaging at 120 degree Celsius for 24 hours returns the hardness and strength to or very nearly to T6 temper levels. RRA treatments can be accomplished with many different procedures. The general guidelines are retrogressing between 180 a euro 240 a degree Celsius for 15 minutes 10 s. Uses 7000 series alloys such as 7075 are often used in transport applications, including marine, automotive and aviation, due to their high strength to density ratio. Their strength and light weight is also desirable in other fields. Rock climbing equipment, bicycle components, inliner skating frames and hang glider airframes are commonly made from 7075 aluminium alloy. Hobby grade RC models commonly use 7075 and 6061 for chassis plates. One interesting use for 7075 is in the manufacture of M16 rifles for the American military. 
in particular high-quality M16 rifle lower and upper receivers as well as extension tubes are typically made from 70-75T6 alloy. Desert Tactical Arms, SIG Sauer, and French armament company PGM use it for their precision rifles. It is also commonly used in shafts for lacrosse sticks, such as the STX Sabre, and camping knife and fork sets. Due to its high strength, low density, thermal properties, and its ability to be highly polished, 7075 is widely used in mold tool manufacture. This alloy has been further refined into other 7000 series alloys for this application, namely 7050 and 7020. Equals history equals, the first 7075 was developed in secret by a Japanese company, Sumitomo Metal, in 1936. 7075 was used for the Mitsubishi A6M0 fighter's airframe for the Imperial Japanese Navy starting in 1940. Equals trade names equals, 7075 has been sold under various trade names including Zikril, Ergol, and Fortal Constructor. Some 7000 series alloys sold under brand names for making molds include Alumk 79, Alumk 89, Contol, Settle, Alum Old, and Hokotol. References Further reading, Properties of Wrought Aluminum and Aluminum Alloys, 7075, Alclad 7075, Properties and Selection Non-ferrous alloys and special purpose materials, Volume 2, ASM Handbook, ASM International, 1990, pages 115 a Euro 116.